Hey there, welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial, Andre here from PSD Box. And today I'm gonna show you how I made this simple manipulation using only two stock images. This is not an original idea of mine, I found uh, this image on Instagram and just um, browsing through on splash.com I found the background image and I thought I'd sh I, I will show you how to how to create uh, something like this. Uh, I don't want to take credit for this, I just want to show you how you can do it. Um, you can do this in any Photoshop version. I'm gonna give you the links to these uh, images. You can find them on the video description and also on my website. It's a really simple image. I hope you will enjoy it and let's get started. We will start with the background image. This image, I downloaded I download this from unsplash.com as I said, but you can find others like this one, for example, and just place the moon right here in the middle and you're good to go. So uh, let's do this one and show you how I did it. So I'm gonna open this and next, uh, if you search moon on unsplash.com, you will find this image and some others, really cool images. And I'm gonna use the magic wand, tolerance to 30 and point sample and just click on the black area and then click on Alt and click this layer mask icon to create an inverted layer mask. And I will have to refine it. So right click and choose refine mask or select and mask or refine edge, whatever you have depending on your Photoshop version. Uh, all Photoshop versions support this, so uh, you'll have no problem with this. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. And what I wanna do is shift the edge negatively a bit, increase the feather quite a lot, and increase the contrast. Basically, I just wanna get rid of the black areas around the moon and have a sort of a not really sharp edge like this, but something a bit softer like that. And I'm gonna click OK, Output to Layer Mask. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna move this with the V key, I'm gonna select the move tool and move the entire layer uh, with the layer mask to my other canvas right up here. As you can see, it brings the layer mask here as well. Now I'm gonna zoom in so I, I wanna make sure that I see no dark areas around here, no black areas, no black edges. And I'm gonna convert this into a smart object. I'm gonna make the moon smaller pretty much like this. I want to cover the fire, so I'm going to zoom in a bit. And I'm going to drop the opacity of the layer so I can see where I place it. And you can see there's two rocks over here, this one and this one. Just make sure the moon uh, is on top of those, uh, it covers part of those rocks, but you want to still cover the fire. So I'm going to press enter. And now I'm going to create another layer mask for the moon. Let's name this moon. And Let's see, select the layer mask with the brush tool. And I'm gonna use a hardness of about 70, size 25 pixels, it's okay. And paint with black over this layer mask to hide the moon and just show these rocks. This will create the sensation, uh, the feeling that, um, the illusion that the moon is, that this rock is in front of that, of the moon, okay? And this part as well. like so and I'm gonna zoom out now I'm gonna increase the opacity back to 100% and I can see an area here which I painted too much but I painted back on okay now we have the uh, the moon ready in place and the only thing we have to do now is create uh, the, these colors and make the moon glow so uh, first, I'm gonna add a curves adjustment and this is because I want to change the color You can use gradient maps, but with curves you, if you have a bit of um, uh, Practice with Photoshop you can do it with the with the curves. I'm gonna show you how I did it here I'm gonna go into the blue layer uh, into the blue channel. Sorry and here if you bring this down Like that you can see you add yellow, which is what we want what we're looking for is to create orange so uh, we can create orange using yellow and magenta and magenta we can get it from the green layer because the opposite of green is magenta so if i bring this down you can see that i can create this uh, tone now what i need here now is contrast okay i'm gonna use the rgb to increase the contrast of my moon like that and this will also change a bit the saturation and the color of it 
and this is how it looks like bring this up quite a lot we want to glow want to create a, a really bright moon like that now i'm going to go back to the channels and i'm going to select the red channel just add a bit more red over there and we're pretty much good to go i like this next i'm going to add i'm going to i'm going to go into the moon's layer style so i'm going to double click this will bring the layer styles. I don't want to add some outer glow, so outer glow like that. Use the screen blend mode. You can try others like uh, color dodge, but screen works better or lighten as well. But I like screen a lot better. And we want something not too, not too saturated, but not too unsaturated either. Something like that. I uh, have the range to 100% and the size to 250 pixels. If you decrease the range now, you will see that the, the glow is more intense. So you can do that if you want. Also, you, I want to add inner shadow, uh, inner glow, sorry. And you can see I have the previous uh, settings, uh, which is this tone over here, this mm, yellow, this mm, really bright yellow. I increase the size quite a lot and also the range. Uh, to have a smoother transition and this is the effect and next I also added a gradient overlay just to darken a bit the bottom part like so and you can use overlay or soft light I think overlay looks better and this is the color that I have I have this brownish tone um, not very saturated it's not very saturated as you can see and it goes to transparent and the transparent color is black okay so I have the linear to 90 degrees and the scale to 100 and that's it that's how i created this um, maybe this gradient that i created here is a bit too extreme i don't think it looks right what you can do now is create an, a general um, color lookup maybe and use some uh, use some presets from here and this will create the general look of the image so as you can see with just two images you can create something really nice and if you're creative you can create uh, nice stuff with just uh, very few images. I have a similar tutorial uh, where I hold a moon in my hand, uh, also really simple and it's a free tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna put a link here so you can watch that tutorial if you want to. Uh, that's all for today. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I have over 250 uh, Photoshop tutorials, uh, free tutorials here on YouTube. So um, I hope you will enjoy all of them. Uh, until next time, this is Andre from PSD Box. Uh, take care and happy Photoshopping.